Hi, I'm Sarah, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about beech leaf disease. And this might be a disease that's new to you, but this is a really important thing for us to talk about. Beech leaf disease, which is caused by a little nematode, a foliar nematode, which means a nematode that lives in the leaves of the tree. Beech leaf disease was only discovered in 2012 in um, Ohio but it has really become a massive threat in a very small period of time. And very, is little, very little is known about how this uh, disease spreads, how it works, all of that. So it's really important that community members get to know the beech trees around them and how to detect if there's something up. Um, so first thing, I wanted to just show you what a beech tree looks like. We have some amazing examples in Tacoma. Here's one right behind me. And as you can see, it's a really large tree. And many of the beech trees we have in Tacoma are, in fact, giant trees with big trunks and uh, really big, massive, and important canopies. These trees have this really smooth bark. It kind of looks like an elephant leg, and that's the way I think about it. And they also have this beautiful, graceful sort of downward pointed uh, branch structure. And one thing that's really notable about beech trees are these buds. Um, at the very tip of the branch before the leaf comes out are these little buds. And actually on the beech tree, it's a very long bud, but it is actually almost the length of a digit of my pinky. This is where the nematode lives. It lives in this bud, but in the winter it hangs out here. And in the spring, as the leaf starts coming out, it'll start eating the space between the veins in the leaf. So what you'll see is banding in the leaf. So you'll see some part of the leaf might look perfectly fine, and then other parts are completely missing or look kind of like a tissue paper. You might also see that the leaf starts to curl up where there has been some damage from the nematode. In the fall, they'll head back into the bud and just hang out there over the winter, waiting for the season to allow for them to come out and start eating again. So what you can do as kind of a early detection is learn what the beech trees around you look like, or if you have any near you, get to know them, start paying attention when that time comes, when the buds start breaking and the leaves start appearing. And then um, watching to see if they look shiny and green and full as they should, or if you start seeing these strange patterns on the leaf, at which point it would be really great if you could reach out to um, Washington State Extension or one of the other great resources out here uh, that can help us a Washington DNR that can help make a response plan should we get some kind of beech leaf disease here in Washington. So far there isn't any beech leaf disease detected in Washington, but it has moved so fast through parts of the country that um, there's lots of mystery about how this is happening. In fact, has been called, I think by the Washington Post, the murder mystery, plant, tree murder mystery. So one thing I'd like to leave you with is that all the trees around us are experiencing stress. They're constantly combating um, all sorts of emerging threats. And by paying attention to them, by noticing how they're doing, we can be like first responders in that emerging threat. When these things go undetected, then we really lose our chance of trying to protect, particularly protecting specimen trees like the one behind me, and also protecting our forests and parks uh, that provide so much tremendous value to us.